Hey guys, um, so I was cleaning up my YouTube history today and I came across this video that I watched probably about a month ago and it's such an eye opener even for all of us that are Christians and just makes, makes you kind of think about life here and the life after what it is and it's just an, a little awesome cool teaching. It's only about four minutes long so I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, I reached out to a sister in Christ today about trying to see how I can transfer other videos to my videos to share some of the ones that I really like and encourage you guys. And so I'm just kind of waiting for a response back on that. Um, I just don't know much about computers. I know how to push the record button and the upload button and that's about it. Um, so hopefully I can learn how to do this. Um... But yeah, you guys, I got a confirmation today. Well, it's a little mini confirmation, but I was even checking out my channels and how many people watch my videos and stuff. And on my Wedding Feast of the Lamb video, I got 44 ups, thumbs up, and four downs. So there's your 444. Another video had 444 views, and then another one had 311, 311 views so that's kind of a mini confirmation but I just thought I'd share that with you guys but this video is only like four minutes long so I'm just going to push play and I will talk to you guys later God bless um imagine this rope okay pretend this rope just goes on forever okay just imagination pretend it goes around the world a few times it doesn't it ends at the rock but uh Let's just imagine this thing goes on forever. Now imagine that this rope is a timeline of your existence. You just exist forever. You see this red part? This would represent your time on Earth. You've got a few short years here on Earth and then you've got all of eternity somewhere else. This is, this is your existence. And what blows me away is some of you, all you think about is this red part. It's all you think about. You're consumed with this. You go, oh man, I can't wait till here. You know, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to save, save, save so I can really enjoy this part right here. And you're consumed with that. And you're thinking, oh, man, am I going to get to travel? Am I going to eat well? Am I going to do this during this part? And I'm like, are you kidding me? What about this? What about this? What about, th what about all this stuff? It's, just, it's crazy to me because the Bible teaches that what I do during this little red part determines how I'm going to exist for millions and millions and millions of years forever. And, and so why would I spend this little red part trying to make myself as comfortable as possible, enjoying myself as much as I can? Paul says, look, I'm going to live my life for this mission. I'm going to spend my life, invest my life for this moment when I cross that finish line. See, I'm going to forget about all the stuff I could enjoy. And I'm not going to look around. I'm going to be like a runner just looking at that moment when I face God. Because when I face him, then I don't get this chance over again. We get one chance at this life on earth. And it can end at any second for any of us. We've got one chance at this. And then comes eternity. And I, I'm not going to be fooled. I'm not going to spend my life down here. See, people look at some of my decisions and go, oh, you're so stupid because that's going to really affect this. I go, no, you're stupid, because it's going to affect all of this. Man, I, I, I'm serious. I, I look. I look at the way people live, and I go, wow, that is so crazy. You are so crazy. You're going you're gonna to do that right now, just to enjoy right now, not even knowing if you have tomorrow, and you think that's smart and that I'm dumb. It doesn't make any sense. Paul goes, I'm not going to look around at all this stuff. And it's tempting. It's tempting to all of us. That's what I'm saying down here. It's crazy because everyone lives that way. Everyone lives for the red part. No one's thinking about the millions of years afterwards. It's, it's just this crazy deception that we can't get out of our minds. And Paul goes, I'm not doing that. He goes, I keep my eyes on that. I keep my eyes on that finish line. And I'm going to forget what's behind me. I'm not looking around. I'm just going to, I'm straining 
because I'm straining forward. I'm like stretching forward for that mark. I'm going to pass this thing. I'm going to live this out and I'm going to face him. I'm going to come before the judges and he's going to hand me that trophy. He goes, I'm going to get it. And I haven't gotten there yet. He goes, but I, you better believe I'm using every muscle, exerting every bit about me because I'm going to pass that line well. Amen.